Vittori said, you're not going to believe the improvements I've made in six months. He beat right. Vitor Miranda right. in Oklahoma City back right. in June. He got right back in the gym. Pat Cummins helping him a lot with his takedown defense, and, and that figures to be tested here tonight against Ahmed. He also worked with Mark Munoz, who's a, who's a very good high-level wrestling grappler that a lot of times needs the takedown to, to feel comfortable. So I think he understands that he's got to train Vittori for these takedown defenses. That's what they're looking for most. They, Vittori says, I'm confident I'll get the finish as long as I can stuff the early takedown. He's a nasty southpaw. He's 24 years old, and he is focused and determined. And don't forget, Joe, I mean, when guys are switching to southpaw, like, who knows how many rounds I've met up has wrestling with southpaws with the strike and it changes the entrance when the, when the feet are switched. So that could make it difficult as well. Nice body to the body. You heard that. He, what you were saying when they were walking in about that cut off style, I mean, he puts everything into his punches and kicks. Everything. He's just one of those swing for the bleachers guys. Yeah. And that, that's what I like about the Torrey kick in the body. You see Akhmedov loading that right hand. You see that? You see how he leans back? He's loading it. And Vittori sees that and kicks the liver. That, that makes you defend with the weapon you're trying to use so you can't throw it offensively. Pretty good counter right hand there by Omari Akhmedov. Just about a minute and a half gone by here round one. Vittori about a two to one favorite here tonight against the more experienced Akhmedov. Ooh. Nice move by Vittori. How about that adjustment? He went to the kick early and then adjusted to the knee with the ring when the range changed. That's a big deal. Ooh. Nasty left hand. Yeah, he's stunned with that left hand. And good timing with his footwork. I like how he's moving in and out. He's used to moving backwards right now. You could tell he's been having wrestlers pushing him back because he's countering moving backwards. But Ooh. right now he's getting clipped. Akhmedov is on him. Yeah, followed up that big left hook with a right hand there. Everything is so good. Oh, oh, big Akhmedov. hook. Hurt him with that left hand. And you could see Akhmedov had to get punched in the nose a little before he turned it up, and now he is angry. Where Akhmedov tucks his chin and throws tornado punches. Oh, there's another one. He hurt him with that one as well. Vittori needs to get on his bike, move his feet. He can't sit here and take all this damage. This is exactly the type of fight Akhmedov wants. At least threaten to take down a fear, Vittori. Something. Relieve this pressure. Knee up the middle. There's answers other than brawling. Well, and also use straight punches to try to keep him off you. Everything we're seeing Akhmedov throw are these big looping punches with all his weight behind him. And the problem with those is he's looking to land over the top of the straight punches of Vittori. That's why you're seeing him loop. And he's so close that it's working because of the forward pressure. But what Vittori needs to do is throw something up the middle, an uppercut or a knee, because all we're seeing Akhmedov do is lower his head and throw overhand rights and, and hooks. A knee and an uppercut would do a lot of justice for Vittori. Put him there again with that right hand. Oh, nice knee. There it is. And it stopped the pressure for one second. That's all you need to do when you got somebody pressuring you like that, especially when they're countering your straight punches with overhands and hooks. And now he's got the range back that he wants, you see? All because of one knee, it's got to be done. They relieve pressure some time. Now he's right where he wants Vittori's getting comfortable again. Akhmedov needs to get in the grill, get into the pocket of Vittori where he's been successful. We're also seeing a lot of deep breathing from Akhmedov. you got to realize the amount of energy he's putting into these punches. Pressure is key because that's what's going to keep Vittori tired. He's got to keep Vittori on his heels. That's where he's the most uncomfortable so far. So a lot of power shots landed on both sides here through four minutes or so. Vittori trying to answer Akhmedov here. These gentlemen not shy to take chances. Putting on a great show right now. Just letting it all hang out. Yeah, this is a crazy pace. It really is, especially for this weight class and the amount of power these guys are throwing around. There's a shot. Vittori's had a lot of quick fights in his career. All ten of his finishes have been in round one. And I like how Vittori's threatening the knee because it just stops the pressure for a second. When you are pressuring somebody, you see them look for the knee, you're like, okay, he's looking for it. I better relax on the pressure. It just makes you think for a second. Vittori needs to keep faking that. Now, when Akhmedov competed at welterweight, he did have a tendency to gas. So that's something that we'll keep our eye on. He didn't have to cut, obviously, the welterweight for this fight. So perhaps the endurance will carry with him 
if we go into a third round. Second round coming up next from Vegas. Go nowhere. 219. Coming up at 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. It is only on pay-per-view. You can order it now. All right, second round here. Marvin Vittori in black. Omari Akhmedov in red. Dom seems as though Conan Silvera thinks the uppercut could be there for Akhmedov. Strong inside leg kicks, and he's talking to him while he's doing that. Oh, three in a row. Oh, big right hand. Wow. So a strong first 30 seconds of this round for Omari Akhmedov. Continuing to clip the Tory behind that right ear. It's so rare to see a guy who throws every punch at 100% for a blast. He does look so much more comfortable and powerful at this weight, though, than he did at 170. He's, this gun, he's in trouble here. Yeah, Tori grabbed that corner and almost ripped it off. And we saw him just muscle it in. Let's see if he makes the right move. Right now, he's getting his arms stretched out. He can get his back taken. He's trying, Tori, he's he's trying right. to transition to an arm bar. He's going to turn into a triangle. A triangle nice. from the side. Wow. This is good. That's pretty. This is very good. That is a nice transition. He's landing some elbows here. He's uh, locking it up nice. That is locked in, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to pull the head here. Akhmedov's hand knuckle is in there, though, which is creating just enough space to breathe and could burn out Vittori's legs as well. you got to make that read if you're Vittori. Not squeeze too hard with your legs. Yeah, he doesn't want to gas see it out. See how his hands are yep, there? Yep. And now he wasted his legs out if he's not careful. So let's see how much he's got in him after that submission attempt. That's exhausting. Well, Akhmedov is a master of sport combat sambo, multiple time sambo champion. Experience with submissions, out. yeah, Very obviously. Good. And now he used that submission attempt. Now he's got to get the energy to get back up to his feet. Nice. He used offense to get up. Very smart by Vittori. By attacking the single leg, you force Ahmed to be defensive and it allows you to stand up. Now it's interesting how how would you score that? Because he was locked in on a triangle, but he defended it. So he didn't really take any damage. So how do you score that? Because it was close to getting... I look at it as an attempt, like yeah. you would look at a takedown attempt. Ooh, interesting. You shoot a takedown, and you don't get it. It's an attempt. It, take, it took energy, but you did get the. You were defended. Right, but there's steps to attempts, right? There's a fully locked out arm bar versus throwing your legs up for an arm bar and getting them shut down. Right, and there's there's triple transitions to a takedown and one shot. Right. So it's all the same thing. It's grappling. You got to set up everything. Yeah, but I'm just thinking about in terms of scoring, how would they look at that for Vittori? He Hard definitely to tell. put Akhmedov in a bad situation, but Akhmedov defended it nicely. Good nice. spinning back fist there. When it comes to damage, the big shots were those leg kicks and the punches by Akhmedov early in this round. There's another one. Mike said inside leg kick. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Vittori attacks the body, was able to split the guard with that left hand. And perhaps some fatigue setting in a little bit for Omari Akhmedov. Had to work hard defending that submission, breathing with that open mouth here. Do not grab the fence. Well, he kept a crazy pace the first two minutes, of, or first three minutes of this five-minute round. And whenever that happens, usually, right when you look up, there's two minutes left in the round every single time. And that's about what he's got here. He's going to have to dig deep for the rest of this round because he threw up everything he had in that first three minutes. Got to reset here if you're Akhmedov. He is ranges off, his tight is a little off because he's tired. Good hook. Vittori clipped in there. Round two, big one for Akhmedov, outlanding Vittori 20 to 6. He has also been the busier party through the first nine minutes. Vittori with his striking attack, he has landed, but more often than not, he's been one and done. Akhmedov is having a little bit of a problem with that left eye, but he's got some swelling under it. And you've seen him wince a lot. And he's eating the left hook every time. He, his right hand doesn't go up at all, Vittori. So his right eye is getting ate up pretty good because of that. Akhmedov smiling at his corner. Stay busy, guys. Another check on the clock. It says 24 seconds and counting here, round two. Stay busy. Vittori whips on the elbow here late in round two. Some blood coming out of the nose of Akhmedov now. 
And you're right, Joe, that swelling under that left eye, something we'll keep an eye on as well. Round three, Victoria Nakhmedov next. Goes down to ball on Fox. Check your local listings for the game in your area. I don't know if I like Omari's corner's advice. They said you killed him the second round. I think this third round makes up this fight. We don't know who's winning right now. I think it could go either way so far. It's been very competitive. And that might get Akhmedov to relax. So let's see if he picks up the pace to win this third round. Whoever gets this round, I think gets the fight. So missed two big haymakers. Nice pressure and a land from Vittori. Big, big punches by Vittori, teeing off here. <laughs> wow. Oh! Nice knee. That's right, he just asked for it. He wants another one. Akhmedov having fun, maybe too much fun here. Strong start to round three for Marvin Vittori. Well, if you're going to eat a 16 punch combination, you want to enjoy it at least, I guess. <laughs> Vittori would appear to be the fresher fighter here late. Nice elbow over the top. And Vittori has almost completely closed the gap now in terms of the significant strikes landed. Big third round here for both men. Vittori's just seemed to recover a little bit more than Akhmedov in this third round. Recovery's just there. He's just come a little bit quicker, a little bit sharper in this boat. Just a little. Big deep breath from the Italian dream, Marvin Vittori. He's deep on the hips here. Let's see if he can do anything with it. He should be able to trip to a takedown pretty well. He's pretty deep, but Akhmedov is extremely strong here. Extremely strong, but also extremely tired. He's, he's slowed down so much in this round. It just takes so much energy to finish the takedown. So it's also tough for Vittori. He's right in front of Vittori. You know, he knocked out Vittori's mouth guard there. Oh, it was Akhmedov's Put it in. No, you put it in. <laughs> These guys are just letting it all out right now, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you know they're just going. There's not much left. They're just on reaction right now. Let's see who wants it more. That's what it comes down to in this third. Vittori is looking to turn it on here. Oh, Ooh, that was that one was a flush too. Oh, oh right hand over the top. Is it so heavy and he's just eating them. Oh, oh wow. these guys are trading for you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, a lot of headache. Nice kick to the body by Vittori. Nice reversal there by Omori Akhmedov. Just over two minutes here to go in this one. Stay busy on the cage. Do not grab the cage. Knee from Vittori partially lands out of the break. Ooh, a couple good straight left hands there by Vittori. This is a real slobber knocker, folks. Vittori has eaten all of the Akhmedov power shots here tonight. Oh, he went oh. high with that one. He stunned him. Akhmedov's in trouble. Wise of Vittori to separate here. Back to the center of the octagon. Head strike numbers. 36 have landed for Vittori here in this third round. A left high kick to the head for Vittori would really cause a problem for Akhmedov right now. He's been going to the body. It's set up all night with the left hand and the kick to the body. Let's see if he sees it to go high with that left. It's there all night for Vittori. Again with the knee to the body by Vittori. Vittori really turning it on here. Akhmedov goes for the takedown and falls to his back. Vittori on top of him with the hammer fists. I think Akhmedov just used all everything he had in that second. Couldn't quite recover for this third round. Vittori just outpaced him in this third. Wanted a little bit more. And Vittori in pursuit of a finish here late. You gotta like the aggression from the Italian. 
Yeah, he's pouring on He's here. finishing very strong. He's trying to finish this and not just wait for the belt. And this, unfortunately, has been the book on Omori Akhmedov. Getting tagged a little bit in these third rounds, and the gas tank sort of abandoning him a little bit. And Marvin Vittori taking full advantage. Incredible 15 minutes turned in by these two middleweights, Marvin Vittori and Omari Akhmedov. The official decision coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Tony Weeks scores the contest, 28-28. Led Strober scores the contest, 29-28, Vittori. And Saldi Amato scores the contest, 28-28. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is a majority draw. So majority draw is the decision.